in situations of oppression and injustices is a crime against the humanity. Yes, that's why we are all here to say, as this rally's poster very nicely says it, clearly says it, that silence is not an option and it should never be an option. Brothers, sisters, comrades, friends, I'm here to speak on the behalf of the Palestine Solidarity Groups who came together in frustration for the silence towards what's happening on occupied Palestine. Silence towards a brutal occupation and ongoing Israeli aggressions and crimes committed against Palestinians. Arbitrary executions are committed daily by Israeli occupation forces and Zionist settlers. Mass use arrests, home demolitions, raids, takeover of lands and homes, uh, defenders of human rights and of Palestinians. Yay. We are here to urge you all to believe that our, what our martyr Hassan Kenafani once said, the Palestinian cause is not a cause for Palestinians only, but it a cause, it's a cause for every revolutionary, yeah. wherever he is, a cause for the exploited and oppressed masses in our era. Sadly, this is an era of blunt collaboration and calls for co coexistence and normalization with the occupier, with the oppressor. This is an era where the Zionists and colonialist powers are working hard to shift the struggle from its focal point, Palestine. We say no, no, no to the occupation. We are here to tell the world that Palestinians are not alone. No to the so-called peace with an occupier. No. When they steal your land, demolish your house, put the swords, all sorts of discriminatory, racist laws to push you out, build an apartheid wall to separate you from your land and your family, when they arrest you, kill your family, your friends. Well, what do you do? You have to have the right to resist. We have the right to fight back. Since the latest Intifada in October, more than 300 Palestinians have been murdered. Illegal measures and criminal mass punishment have been exercised brutally by the occupation. Yesterday, a Palestinian elderly man was murdered and 40 wounded due to Israeli aggression, due to Israeli aggression of Palestinians who gathered at the Israeli military checkpoint at Kalandia West Bank to attempt passage to Jerusalem's Al-Aqsa Mosque for Friday prayer. It's a basic human right to pray. They wouldn't let them pass. Yesterday, the Israeli occupation forces shot dead, executed a 27-year-old woman, a pregnant woman, killing her. That means killing two, two people, the woman and her baby. Her cousin Muhammad, 17 years old, was executed the day before. Yesterday, Israelis placed Al Khalil city, Hebron city, under blockage. A racist siege, a selective siege, exclusively just for Palestinians. They continue to terrorize the people of Hebron while the world stands silent. This morning, Israel raids the blockaded Gaza. Gaza, which have been blockaded since 2007. They raided it, killing and injuring civilians. Again, while the world stands silent. Well, they expect us again to normalize and make peace with the occupier. As a Palestinian resident from Hebron says, we will not welcome with roses the bulldozers. Uh, the bulldozers that came to destroy a home in our city.
unity, we have the right to resist. On this day, Al-Quds Day, which is marked as a day of solidarity with Palestinians, we need to salute and we need to acknowledge, stand in solidarity and demand the release of prisoners, Palestinian prisoners in Israeli prisons. We salute and demand the prison, the, the freedom of Bilal Qayyid, a 34-year-old activist who was scheduled to be released on June 13th after 14 and a half years of imprisonment. Instead of being released, he was ordered six extra months of administrative detention without charge or trial. Yesterday, they moved him to isolation. 18 days ago, Bilal Qayyid has launched an open hunger strike demanding his freedom. This illegal Israeli order of administrative detention is seen as an attempt to set a precedent for the future infinite detention of Palestinian prisoners after the expiration of their sentence. This is an illegal practice similar to the illegal imprisonment of Lebanese prisoner, a struggler for Palestine, George Ibrahim Abdullah, who has been imprisoned in French jails for 32 years. 32 years. So after being imprisoned in French, in French jails for 32 years, an order was made for him to be released last the past two years but again same thing the french government decides to hold that order and he's still in prison brothers sisters and comrades we need to continue to take action to break the silence of the international community as well as the silence of the complicit media we need to take part. We need to even to take place of the media if we have to. We need to continue to create awareness about the Israeli occupation and the crimes committed against Palestinians. We need to act to urge our governments, hopefully, to condemn and act against Israeli policies of illegal administrative detention and imprisonment without charge. I urge you not to be silent. I urge you to speak up, to resist this occupation, and support the steadfastness of Palestinians. Support their resistance in any form that is possible. I urge you to support the BDS, the Boycott, Divestment and Sanctions Against Israel. This is the least we could do here in Canada. Finally, I salute all of you for being here. Palestine will be liberated, will be liberated with your efforts. Glory to the martyrs. Victory, freedom to the prisoners. And liberation for the Palestinians. All Palestinians, from the river, to the sea.